Bram Stoker never visited Transylvania before writing Dracula, but this is where most people think he set his classic. In fact, Bran Castle was a fortress designed to keep the Ottoman hordes away. There's even a set of secret stairs in case everything else failed. The defenders of this place were certainly bloodthirsty, but not in the way Bram Stoker suggested. In the middle of the 15th century, Bran Castle was ruled by a man called Vlad Sepes, better known to you and me as Vlad the Impaler. His father was also called Vlad, but his last name was Dracul, which is the Romanian for devil. Vlad Sepes, therefore, became known as Dracula, meaning son of the devil. Vlad Sepes may have been an impaler, but a vampire he most definitely was not. <laughs> But you can imagine why most people come here and the locals are happy to play the game, even if it sometimes comes as a letdown to find the truth. They're looking for Dracula the Vampire, for Tattoo Chambers, for... <laughs> and are they disappointed when that's not true? Sometimes, because, uh, you know, we have the people from all over the world, many, many visitors, and it's very hard to, to convince all the, all the people about the truth. In fact, Vlad Sepes, a.k.a. Dracula, was at once horrible to his enemies and really nice to his friends. In the hill villages here, they absolutely adore him still as a paradigm of ruthless but fair dealing. For us, Vlad Sepes was a great ruler because he gave us all these lands and now we're rich villagers. So we believe he was a wise leader and was not a vampire. He was and will always be a great historical figure. The Ottomans had it in for Vlad though and they chased him down to another fortress. He escaped but his wife threw herself off the top in a real life horror story. The Ottomans eventually got Vlad too, not a man blessed with eternal life. So Bram Stoker made it all up, but who are we to let the facts get in the way of a good Halloween? Welcome to my house! Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Lawrence Lee, Sky News, Transylvania.